Oh, wow. Oh. Oh my god. So pretty. I don't want to go out there. I don't want to talk to you. I want to do other things. Okay. This door leads to the upstairs bedrooms. Apparently, the criminals did not venture there. Apparently. Well, considering they barely cleared out here. All right, let's look outside. Dun, dun, dun. A sign of people. Oh my god, this is gorgeous. What the f, man? I can't go in? Okay. Can I go across here? Yeah. Sorry, I'm probably making people dizzy. Okay. No, I can't read what they're reading. Okay. Uh, Strahd. All right, let's see if we can talk to the ladies again. There are three glasses on the dining room table. I was wondering if... Oh, I forgot. When I came to myself the first time, each of them had a glass in his hand. They might have Why? been the father and his two sons. They talked together in whispers, and then they left. That doesn't Your make ladyship. any sense. Please How leave you? What you have... alone. She suffered so much, she deserves some rest. No, she doesn't. Well, she does, but... Have you found any interesting Hello, clues Strat. yet, Mr. Holmes? I have. Um, I guess I'll look at them. Oops, wrong button. You'd think I'd know by now what the buttons were. Oh, jeez, I have tons of stuff. Okay, uh... Two glasses... Three people! There were three people drinking wine out of three glasses. One of the three probably prefers wine with beasing. More likely, two people were drinking wine out of these glasses. The remaining glass of the beasing consisted solely of the dregs from the other two glasses. That actually kind of makes sense. Okay, so they had the wine drink. Okay, I understand now. I was like, what the hell is beeswing? I want to I'm sorry. Okay, uh. Criminal identify. Alright. The death of Sir Eustace could have been due to his accidentally striking his head on the fire grate. Probably not. Uh, no. No, okay. Uh, there we go. There's the other half of it. Okay. So. Death of Sir Eustace can be due to the poker blow. Okay. And. For sure. Yeah, those don't go together. Try to break in. Alright. Dun dun dun. Oh. Oh. Hmm. These scratches are most definitely made by the picture frame. 
Oh, let's do this it. This is Sir Eustace's safe. safe. There may be something important inside. I must ask Lady Brackenstall to open it. Right away. What's on your table? This photograph of Lady Brackenstall and her maid Teresa was taken at a port. But which one? How short she is. Oh shit, sorry. It's not done. Oh god, I get to open all of them. I love these picture frames. So the lady and her well, maid came from Australia a year and a half ago on this ship. Makes sense. Did you just steal her picture? Sure did. Gonna ask her about that. Steals people's stuff a lot. Alright. Milady. Lady Brackenstall, could you open this wall safe? No. It is my husband's nope. safe. I do not know the combination. We have to open it. I guess I'll Your have to ladyship. break it. I'll just break into it. It'll Please begin. leave my Mary alone. All right. She suffered so much. She deserves some rest. Let us try to open this safe. This it's safe been a while since we've done a lock. Cracked. I only have to Ooh. pay attention. The dial will vibrate when it is set to the correct number. Fun. Okay, so... Nope. Not the controller. The actual thing. I was trying to... Oh, this is much easier than what I was expecting for this. safe cracker or thought they'd actually make me listen to it or feel my controller vibrate Sir Eustace your current physical and mental state is of great concern there are several signs of hepatic decompensation the last time we met your eyes were bloodshot and your skin was tinged with yellow there's a particular odor from your breath that is common in those suffering from liver, liver damage ooh uh, then there are lung absences that we have discussed. Your leg cramps you have described to me are caused by an antiller. <laughs> I wish I could read. Anal, an, an, alteration, whatever, to the nervous system, which in turn is caused by an excess of alcohol. This includes the tremors. Your liver seemed excessively hard at the time of your examination, which is a sign of evolving chrithothis. This is where we look up all of these big medical terms so I can say them properly. Nope, it's not a word. Analteration. Anal Analteration. <sighs> you have described to me are caused by an alteration of the nervous system, which in turn is caused by excess of alcohol. That includes the tremors. Your limer se uh, seemed excessively hard at the time of your examination, which is a sign of evolving crithosis. Crith Crehosis. There are also signs of ascites, fluid in 
the pedestal cavity, which are evident with your swollen stomach. The pain beneath your left rib indicates... Sir Eustace, your current physical and mental state is of great concern. There are several signs of hypothetic decomposition. The last time we met, your eyes were bloodshot and your skin was tinged with yellow. There is a particular odor from your breath that is common in those suffering from liver damage. Then there are the lug absences, absences that you, we have discussed. The leg cramps you have described to me are caused by an alteration of the nervous system, which in turn is caused by an excess of alcohol. That includes the tremors. Your liver has seemed excessively hard at the time of your examination, which is a sign of evolving carthosis. There are also signs of abscess fluids in the pernal cavity, which are evident in your swollen stomach. The pain beneath your left rib indicates a pancreatic malady, which may lead to fatal or fulmin fulminate pancreatitis. Fulminate. Fulminate? A pancreatic uh, malady, which may lead to fatal or fulminate pancreatitis. Your condition may pose a risk to others. Your excess alcohol consumption lowers your self-control and heightens your aggression. I am available to help you with this problem. There are a number of treatment options. It is common practice to keep money. one's valuables in a safe behind a painting. It should not really pose a challenge for a criminal. That's a lot of money. Antique coins possibly of value, but they're scattered without care. Money, money, money! Money! Let's ask her about the money. Did you know your Please husband was ill? Maybe he'll say the alone. words for me. She Please. Wow, I'm not even allowed to talk to her anymore. Family business booming, the Randall gang is back on the street. Less than a fortnight ago, this infamous family of burglars, the Randalls, are, as they are known, made their reappearance by way of brutal but successful intrusion into one of the wealthier homes in Sydenham. The police are ready, already on their tail, trail. However, the details of the crime are being kept confidential, including that of name of victim. A witness was able to provide a precise description of all three men, and this will surely give police a chance to complete their profile on the family of delinquents. We would like, we would take the liberty of reminding our esteemed reader about the highly dangerous band, and to provide the full description as it is available at this moment. The gang has been in business for some considerable time. Being a family of three, father and his two sons, the elder, Jack Randall, is a man of his forties and already gray-haired, while of average height and build. Being a mastermind behind the burglaries, he retains control over his sons, both of whom are, all, are close in age but very different in appearance. The first son, William Randall, is tall and broad-shouldered with small, disproportionate head. <laughs> Uh, the younger brother, Melvin Randall, is of somewhat weaker constitution and is as skinny as a rake. Gang is wanted not only for their frequent thefts and break-ins, but for exceptional brutal pirate career they enjoyed before returning to England. Be alert. You may... and may your valuable stay The description stay of safe. the Randall gang provided by Lady Brackenstall is identical to the one in the Times article. A little too close... Okay, so I inspected her room. I'm wondering if I'm missing something else from his. Uh, yeah. I don't buy it. The robbery was faked. Okay. And... So I'm done with her room. Let's take a look at my book. I still need to inspect the dining room. Yeah, let's take a quick look with my special view. Let's see, it said that they did a very brutal break in. And I just don't believe that like nothing here actually looks like Huh. 
Huh. Oh yeah, there you go. That's what I missed. The chair in the Sailor's middle. Oh look, it's the decay. That's interesting. This rope was handled by the murderers. We need a scent hound to follow their trail. I will take it with me. Good thing we have a puppy. We have a this puppy. is the chair that, that Lady oh, Brackenstall yes. was tied to. Why would they just tie her to a chair if they had seen her? I mean, if she had seen them. Okay. So, that's here. Go find Toby. Okay, so Toby is our dog, and he's in Baker Street. Let's go there. Because I just don't feel like anything else is happening in that house. Toby! You're a bloodhound. Let's close Come on, break. Toby. We need the best nose in the British Empire on this case. Is that Watson's shoe? I agree with you, Toby, to that to Watson's shoe is preferable to Mrs. Hudson's <laughs> cold cuts. Oh, that's great. Okay. Uh... I'm guessing we go back and then we're going to follow the scent trail with Toby. Just join our party. She's in the carriage with us. That's adorable. 